Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So as you all probably know, unless you're new here, welcome, welcome. Basically I've been doing the Building a Happier Life series. So we've completed three habits that we've been incorporating so far. I've honestly got quite a bit going on this week and I'm very grateful because it's very exciting. It's nice stuff that I'm working on. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> but because of that, there's a lot, there are other things that I need to prioritise. So I think doing the habit building and trying to prioritise something else might be a little bit challenging this week. So I was thinking that this week I'm going to bar as a sustainment week. So we've built three habits so far, or tried to build three habits so far. If you watched the uh, sleep one, you'll know it didn't go quite as planned. <laughs> but we've done moving my body, like working out, screen time and sleep. And they've all come together to sort of make impacts on different areas and each other in my life, which has been really lovely. But there's a lot going on this week, so I figured this week we'll just sort of keep sustaining those habits, really make sure they are a habit, it's more automatic than it maybe used to be, and then next week we can jump back in with another newer habit that we're reintroducing. And I've said before, like, these habits are all stuff that I'd, I've done before and used to be habits that I've really just let fall off the bandwagon off of the last fall off the bandwagon, fall off the wagon. These aren't new to me in my life, but they are new in this phase of my life. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't actually film Monday or Tuesday, it's Wednesday right now, so this is just going to be the kind of tail end of my work week, it's sustaining. I might, I was thinking I've got quite a few pieces over the last few months, quite a few. I've had a few new pieces in my wardrobe over the last few months that I think I might do a little show and tell because who doesn't like a little haul? Today I went for a walk already. It is very, very cold. I think my cheeks are still a little bit red from the walk. Yeah, it was about almost, it was, I think it was almost 20 degrees on Sunday and then Monday hit and it dropped 20 or 30 degrees overnight. Welcome to Canada. And I'm I'm working from home this week. My mum is just requiring a little bit more help around the house. She's hurt her back, so <laughs> I'm just helping her out and sticking around to be close by as needed, which has been nice and also there's nothing quite so much of a reality check as just sort of getting sick or seeing someone you love sick or seeing someone you love hurt themselves and in pain like it's just such a a reality check of okay there's a lot to be grateful for there's a lot of good and we can all help each other out when we're not feeling up to up to snuff so as much as i feel very very bad for her it, i'm glad that i can stay at home <laughs> and help out. It's nice to spend some time with her. I feel like I don't have too much on the go that I've got planned. I really, really need to do my nails. These are from um, before Valentine's Day. It is the 20th of March. They are bad, but I usually go with my mum and she hasn't been able to go for the last few weeks. So I was just like, oh, I'll just wait. I'll, it'll, it'll get better soon. I think I just need to bite the bullet and go by myself. So I might do that tonight. And then Friday, I believe, someone had mentioned going climbing. And then there's also a jazz music show that we might go to, which I have not been to something like that before, which would be lovely to go and enjoy. I think one of my friend's friends is playing. So that would be fun. Yeah, welcome to my sustainment week. A little break in the building the new habits and just sort of touching base, making sure we're still looking after ourselves even when it's kind of a perfect opportunity because it's all not designed to be perfect and I, like I sort of said there's that it's a sliding scale of prioritization and balance so I know I've got a lot going on this week so maybe my work life or whatever that looks like is taking higher priority over over this series for the week and that's okay that is okay that is normal oh guys I have such good news <laughs> I finally finished Blade Breaker. I've already put it back on my shelf, so I'm not going to show you right now, but I finally finished. It is done and it was so brilliant. And now the third one is out, so I don't even need to wait. The whole trilogy's done and I can probably will wait because I'm still trying to do my read six by one rule. So I've still got a massive pile on my to read pile. So I don't really need to go and get the new one right now, right away. But I also started this book. The Old Place by Bobby Finger. I'm only just about hit 70 pages onto this and it's very cute and wholesome and I like it a lot. It's just sort of a, <laughs> it reminds me of like kind of, cro well it doesn't remind me it's about, but it's very like crotchety fussy old women and it's, the premise is this woman 
has been forced to retire. She calls it um, district mandated exile is her retirement. But she's reconnected with an old friend of hers who she used to be very close to and their sons were very close, but both their sons passed away uh, around a similar time to each other. So then they sort of drifted apart and now it's how many years later and they're reconnecting and it's very sweet. I like it. I really like it. <laughs> it's not something I ever probably would have usually picked up, but it was on sale. It was like on a sale shelf. It's, it's lovely. So I'll let you know. Maybe I can finish that this week. We'll see. We shall see. But anyways, I've been waffling on for far too long. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I see how long I talk for and it's just, oh, it's embarrassing. Anyways, let's get into the video. This is my sustainment week. Let go. <laughs> I think this is my first check-in for the day. Not really how I anticipated my day going. I just spent five hours in urgent care because I got really bad chest pain this morning. I was like, oh, that's not good, that's scary. Just like, oh. just the, um, hearing the phrase chest pain, I was like, better safe than sorry. But apparently I've got costochondritis, which was probably from a cough or something, but it's basically like a cartilage around your rib cage is inflamed, I think. Don't quote me on that. Either way, home now, we're all good. I got some eucalyptus on the way home to treat myself because I always see people put these, <laughs> I always see people put these on their showers. So I thought that would be a nice little treat. Um, pain is not great today, so. I'm going to set that up and probably have a more relaxing evening. I plan to go climbing this weekend, but I'm thinking that's probably not the wisest choice. But I am going to take some painkillers and chill because, yeah, not feeling, not feeling my utmost, which is fine. <clears throat> At least it was all done and the doctors and nurses were all really, really lovely, which was quite reassuring because I was there on my own and just like in a gown that was gaping up at the front and my boob kept falling out. It was very sexy. But yeah, they were all very kind and they looked after me quite nicely. So, home now. It's going to be an interesting, uh, probably not going to be a very interesting rest of the day for for vlogging. But we'll see what I get up to and I'll bring you along. Okay, so I am 
a Stanley girl, tried and true, had it for months, love it. Love drinking from a straw, however, it's not leak proof. And as my sister pointed out, the idea of just like an exposed straw is kind of yucky. <laughs> so, from my sister, she had gotten gifted a different brand, which still had the straw, but it's sealed and is leak proof. So I ordered one in green, because This is the Hydra Peak, a 32 ounce stainless steel insulated bottle with the straw that shuts and it's leak proof. So I'm very excited about this. <laughs> and it's still got the bit that it'll like fit in your cup holders. Sorry, you can probably hear the cat eating. <laughs> but yeah, new bottle. It's also got the handle like here, which is arguably a much better idea than this. Perfect for sitting on your desk. Perfect if you work hybrid and need to change desks every other day. What a day. <laughs> Not how I anticipated it going, but after getting back, just finished up my work day and then I also just watched some TV, had some dinner, and Kina and I booked our flights to New York in May. I think an announcement will be going out in the next few weeks on Instagram. We're both going to be walking in a little fashion show there in May. I think we might try and do something maybe upstate or something like that. But my best friend lives out there, so we're going to go stay with him and see him for a while too. And I'm very, very excited. And we got a really, really good deal on the flights, so that's nice. And now I'm just mentally brainstorming all the things in the mental itinerary. So yeah, looking forward to that. So that's all sorted. Um, the painkillers really didn't help earlier, so I just took another one before bed, hoping that will do something this time. I'm just gonna have to see how I feel for tomorrow, because we were supposed to go to that jazz music. It might be fine if I'm just kind of like sitting, but if I'm not feeling good and I'm very uncomfortable, as I am right now, <laughs> might not be the best idea. So we'll have to see how that goes. I can already tell you this is supposed to be a sustainment vlog, but I can already tell you that my screen time today was abysmal on Instagram. I was like in the waiting room constantly and then, yeah, I can already tell you, not a good day for Instagram. <laughs> but I had good sleep last night. And um, what was my other, I obviously didn't work out today. I did walk the dog before all of this or after all of this, even before going to the urgent care. Did walk the dog, but yeah, working out. Screen time, mm. sleep, phenomenal. So we'll see how tonight goes and I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> music club tonight which I've never been to but it's also freezing so <laughs> got my long midi satiny skirt on with some leggings underneath because of aforementioned freezingness. We've got my knee-high boots from Steve Madden, a really really ancient blousey top from Aritzia and then I've got this little silky scarf that I got while in France last year and then I was just gonna pair it with my, this will be the light layer, I'll be putting my big woolen coat on top. Light layer here. And then this bag to go with the boots. And this is the look. Right now, Keenan and I are also going to spend the day together beforehand. But this is the look. I'm going to do my makeup later because I simply couldn't be bothered. And I was crying a lot this morning. So... <laughs> I, yeah, just didn't bother, so I'll just do that later before we go. We are just at Keenan's now, and we're gonna watch some Ted Lasso. Keenan's not seen it, and I need a feel-good show. <laughs>
Okay, let's do a little haul for this video just to give it a little, little spice. But I basically wanted to show you guys some items that I've added to my repertoire recently. I, I do like shopping, I like fashion, I like all the trendy... Well, I would say my style, how I would describe it, is like elegant with a not boho twist, but like a little bit funky. Maybe like elegant classic with a dash of 70s. I'm not really sure how I would describe my style but it was probably like slightly boring or like I'd say like classic. <laughs> classic some might find boring with a little bit, a little bit. So these are pieces that I had my eye on for a really long time and I was like okay I kind of want to start fleshing out a bit of more of a spring wardrobe and they're also just really useful and I've already worn them so many times that they're not even going to be new to you if you've watched my vlogs before but I'll just kind of demonstrate what I bought. First up, oh they're wet because I use them every day, <laughs> um, these are my hunter boots. Now if you've seen hunter boots they are very expensive, these typically go for like over $200. Keenan saw these at the shop and they were on sale for $50 and I tried them on, they fit like a glove and they're actually really comfortable. I don't know if I would have spent 200, I never would have spent $200 on them. But now that I've got them, if these last me for five to 10 years, I would probably pay full price for them again because they are awesome and I've only had them for a few weeks and I'm already go-to in the, in the wardrobe. I've shown this before. New Hydro Peak. I realised this is actually the smaller size. This isn't the size that I wanted. And I was like, wow, I'm filling this up a lot more than my Stanley. It's because it's quite a bit smaller. So I'm going through quite a few more, more runs of it day, which is good. It's encouraging. Another piece, piece I got, I got this at the same time that I got the boots at the bay. This is from a brand called, I think it's Everlane. Everly? Everlane? Let me see. Ever New. Ever New Australia. And this is the perfect perfect bag if it's my tripod in here if it's my phone or my bits that I need in here but it's not super heavy and it does come with a crossbody strap if wanted as well and it goes really well with all my brown boots and brown sort of hardware so very pleased with this one and it's it's very structured so it's like it doesn't show a lot of wear easily, which I'm quite rough on quite a few things in my wardrobe and I'm trying to get better at it, but this is like, it's lasting. It's very nice, I like this a lot. This was a random one that I just picked up because I felt like it. Just a cute little beret, because why not? I thought this was so cute and it's the exact same colour as my winter coat, so probably won't be getting lots of use out of this in the coming months but next winter matchy matchy perfect i've also shown this before but because it's just like this big wrap up that i'm doing but keenan bought me this 
silky scarf for my birthday. And I have another one of these that I bought in Europe last year because I don't love how casual like baseball caps or the bucket hats look, especially I like to dress up nicely. And I've seen a lot of people use these like for sun protection. <laughs> so you sort of fold it like this and it works in the winter beautifully because it's obviously it's like a scarf and it's a nice little layer to add but people would put it over like their sundresses like this and it would cover up their shoulders and their neck or they'd even do like for this for their like ooh, not like that but even for like their their scalp just kind of hide their head it's very versatile i also like it because i think sometimes black can be a bit aggressive on me depending on like the time of year, how peaky I'm looking. And so if I'm wearing something like really dark on the top, just sort of add this and it's a nice little pop of breaking up the black and I think it makes me able to wear the colors that I'd like to wear <laughs> and add a little bit of something to it. I've shown, I've, you've seen me wear lots of these before, but I really, really love this. And it's um, a vintage, of, ooh, a vintage Dior find, so. Men's did good. Next, I'm probably not gonna try these on just because of this framing and you can't really see them anyways and it's the only bottom half I have. But the I was 100% influenced on these ones. They were also on sale uh, for quite a bit cheaper than they would usually go for, but it's these kind of like cigarette pants from Banana Republic. And I tried them on and I was like, oh, I'm not quite sure. And then the woman at the shop was like, oh, you look like Audrey Hepburn in those. I was like, sold. So I'm really enjoying those, they're very elegant very classic. I've actually worn them a lot more than I thought I would. They're really comfortable as well so I would highly recommend something like this. They're kind of leggings like at the top but you can add a belt to make it look a little bit more, not leggings, I don't know how you describe it but they're, they're, they're not got like loops or anything on them. It's not a super structured waistline which is good for what you want because it does kind of tuck in nicely and it's very smooth underneath if something's overflowing but if you wanted to add a belt or some more shape to it very easy to do so. The next bit I'll show is this vintage Ralph Lauren jumper. It's got this nice little patch up at the top just for some some spice. It's cable knit and it says, I can't know, if, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's this deep green, which I do love my green if you can't tell. And what I love about this is I wanted to get some more wool in my wardrobe because of the wicking and the temperature control as well as like, you don't need to wash it as much and that might sound gross but it's not because it wicks so well and it doesn't smell and it's just like a nice long lasting look after it beautiful piece that will just last forever in your wardrobe like nothing like a cable knit jumper when has that ever gone out of style <laughs> it hasn't so i was very pleased with this i got this on the vestiaire collective i'd highly recommend like most a lot of things get like that dior um scarf with second hand a few of the bits I'm showing you at second hand, I would highly recommend just shop, shopping second hand. And then you can get like nice designers like Ralph Lauren or Dior for a really accessible price point because I would probably not buy those things new with the prices from them, but they are good quality and they're worth putting in the wardrobe. So I was very pleased with this one. I love it. <laughs> the next was, I got this one purely for the color. I, I really wanted this sort of colour as a pop in my wardrobe in spring. It's this nice like baby blue. I've got a few other pieces I'm eyeing and not quite, haven't really quite pulled the trigger on that are this sort of colour as well. It's just this jumper from Lululemon. I think this is from the men's section, which I usually actually end up leaning towards, especially for tops, just because they are longer. And I have a very long torso and not very long legs. So please do this one. You've seen this a million times I'm sure, I've worn it to death and I plan to keep doing so. The next is also from Banana Republic and it is this silk blouse, also in a dark green. And this just is again one of those like classic pieces that's never gonna go out, you just have to look after it. It's beautiful, it's flattering, it's elegant, it is just everything I wanted. These kind of, th these things I'm showing is like 
the blue jumper I've wanted for ages, the cable knit jumper I've wanted for ages, a nice nice flattering blouse I've wanted for ages. They're all in like my kind of colours that I know I'm not going to get bored of. They're investment pieces that will be around for a while and I've collected these over the last several months so this isn't just like an all-in-one haul. You've seen a lot of these pieces before but they are investments and they are going to last a long time in my wardrobe so I'm very I'm very pleased with them. This isn't just like a and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with just kind of going out and getting things. I've definitely done the same and I don't always love myself afterwards but these were the sort of things I thought about and I went hunting for them and I continued to think about it and then I pulled the pulled the trigger on them. The next one I have is, you've seen this, <laughs> the Marc Jacobs blazer jackety thing that was also secondhand from a Boo Vintage shop. This is has these beautiful details on the pockets, this nice piping, and then the inside details is also just to die for. It's a size smaller than I would usually get, but it actually fit perfectly and I find that sometimes with the higher end designers the sizes I tend to be smaller in versus when I go into a more kind of fast fashion or high street clothing I tend to have to size up or get bigger but when it's like good quality I end up sizing down so I noted that when I was doing my Vessia order <laughs> but I'm loving this it's perfect for the office especially for spring it's lightweight um but it's and it's it's slim so it fits under my big jacket if I want to wear it in the winter time and then it's also a perfect outer layer for the spring. Last piece of clothing, the pièce de résistance of this haul. I am I'll actually put this one on. I know the other ones I didn't, but I'm actually gonna put this one on. I also got this one on Vestier, and I am obsessed. It is the perfect lightweight outdoor jacket that I've been looking for my entire life. Yeah, this is from Vestia, it's a barber jacket, which me and Keena went to the barber stall in the UK over the summer while we were there last year, and I haven't stopped thinking about them. So it's got the high neck if wanted, you can pull that down. And then I also got one with this nice belt detail and um, it is everything I could have wanted and more. This is absolutely beautiful. It's got the lovely flattering thick belt in the middle with nice high quality hardware. The zippers are perfect. This is second hand and it looks brand new and it feels brand new just with how it does. Um, got the nice quilted pattern which was what I was looking for with just it's just like beautifully made it's so beautiful I love it I adore this so much I don't imagine I will be taking this off I'll be wearing this to death over the next few months and it's already like as it's gone a little bit warmer this has been the perfect jacket to wear on the dog walks and go outside and I do feel um very English <laughs> as I go on my dog walks in the middle of Canada um, with my barber jacket and my hunter wellies. Um, it's definitely a look, definitely leaning into the aesthetic there. <laughs> and okay, I will show you one last thing that I uh, bought, have bought recently. So these ones I all sort of showed before. I haven't paid attention to the lighting in this clip at all. I'm so sorry if this is horrendous, but this was at a farmer's market I showed when we got these in the vlog, but um, it was just this lovely woman who made all her own jewellery. So there's these ones, which has got the pearlescent sort of, it's almost like a Van Cleefy type shape, um, but it's got the pearlescent drops there. And then there are these. You see them? And so this front piece comes on the front of your ear and this back, this pearlescent piece goes on the back of your ear and they're beautiful. Sorry, I don't know why I'm out of breath. And then the last ones I got were these. Little drop danglies, which are just slightly slightly more statement pieces i feel like the last few months i've really sort of leaned into my style i think is i think 
when I think about it, the clothes that I like and are drawn to are still the same clothes I like and were drawn, was drawn to as like an 11 year old girl. But I felt ridiculous going to school in like a skirt or whatever the girly things and like <laughs> like that Blair Waldorf aesthetic sort of thing. I would always love those kind of clothes and feel ridiculous going to school when everyone's in their sweatpants and jeans. So I never really felt grown up enough to wear the clothes that I like. And now at 26, I feel like I can wear the clothes that I like. It's taken me this long, but we're leaning into it. I'm enjoying my fashion and my sense of style a lot more and I feel more confident and comfortable with it. <laughs> I don't know if it's just an age thing or what, but I'm I'm definitely enjoying it and I'm trying to be a little bit conscious. Like obviously I'm not perfect. One of those was from Lululemon. One of those, two of those items were from Banana Republic. Most of them were secondhand or from like a small business small women-owned business <laughs> but it's a little bit of that just being a bit conscious and like the pieces that I did buy from a more typical or the pieces from Banana Republic I'd been eyeing for ages and I knew I was going to wear them for a long time no one's perfect and then the other pieces they're all secondhand and they're just getting another life to love another life of love of and care so I'm very happy with those those decisions but yeah that was just the whole portion of this video because I know I said I would do it and I did want to show off a little bit of the stuff that I've gotten for spring so that was that <laughs> back into the rest of this vlog checked in in a very long time <laughs> so on friday we went to that jazz night which was lovely we ended up going to a birthday party afterwards and left pretty soon after we got there we both tired really <laughs> but the jazz was awesome i was like oh this is right up my alley it was brilliant loved it yesterday we ended up going and grabbing a nespresso machine so now i have that and that will save me lots of money on my morning coffee so i'm looking forward to that and it's just like convenient nice easy i only drink decaf but tastes good and then keenan had not seen ted lasso so we started that and watched like the entirety of the first season yesterday which was fun he really liked it and that made me feel good because it's my like, one of my comfort shows it's so good and wholesome so that was just like a nice pick me up way to spend the day and I was thinking that should maybe be my comfort show when I'm not feeling good because it does just make you feel instantly better. And then we also watched the rom-com new one, Anyone But You. We rented that on Prime. And then this morning we just sort of took it easy and started season two of Ted Lasso. It's been like a perfect weekend of just like some quality time, some good food. We got to be social and go out and also the amount of snow it literally snowed for like three days straight, but it's more of the wet snow, which we don't usually get in Calgary. It's usually quite dry, but this is big snow and it's also quite like nice, fun snow. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. It's now Sunday. My room is a bomb site, so I'm going to be cleaning that ASAP. I need to shower. It's been a lovely weekend. I've been very pleased. Oh, I also need to edit episode three or building a happier life because as much as this has been a nice this has been perfect this week I think I did not have the capacity to add another another habit but it also just kind of sitting with it for a while kind of building as much as I could I know my chest has been not great so I haven't been working out and that's okay obviously not gonna beat myself up about being injured <laughs> but it's also highlighted the pieces where I'm like, oh, actually, maybe I want to try and prioritise this one next because I've just been sitting with it and allowing myself to identify the areas that I'd like to focus on, which has been really nice, just slowing down a bit. I also have had over seven hours sleep as I'm yawning. I've had over seven hours sleep every night this week, so that is a huge win. Screen time, mm, mm, bit hit or miss with that one, but sleep has been awesome. <laughs> 